new step to combat the opioid crisis. Virginia lawmakers want to increase penalties for drug dealers, hoping to prevent overdose deaths. 20 states already have what's called drug-induced homicide laws. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez explains the bill and why some feel it can save lives. Punishments for some drug dealers may soon be harsher. If their drugs kill someone, prosecutors could charge them with murder under a bill that's passed both Virginia houses and now only needs the governor's signature. Republican Senator Mark Obenshane, who represents Rockingham, explained on the Senate floor that particularly deadly drugs like fentanyl laced and other opioids are the motivation behind the chain. Making a concrete step in the direction of helping uh, our communities uh, stay safer, uh, helping to protect our children. Uh, our friends, our neighbors from the uh, deadly hazard being posed by poison being peddled uh, through our streets. Former Lynchburg Commonwealth's attorney Mike Doucette, who now heads the Virginia Association of Commonwealth's Attorneys, helped fight to get the bill passed. We need to get the message out that the Virginia is no longer going to tolerate people who are selling uh, heroin, fentanyl, car fentanyl. The bill includes all banned drugs and ups the penalties for the dealer to five to 40 years in prison. These kinds of bills have had opposition. Many say they can lead to situations where people who are with someone who overdoses are afraid to call 911 for fear they'll face a murder charge. This bill draws the distinction between a dealer who profits from a sale and two friends using drugs together. A post on our Facebook page has gotten comments both supporting and opposing the change, with many saying that drug dealers should not be held accountable to this degree. In Roanoke, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.